Hi guys, I know you've been working very hard. It's very uh, nice that you're still guys young and energetic. You're working very hard and you don't get tired, don't you? <laughs> okay, but uh, uh, 24th is not verified. It's in two days time to us proud. Today we'll be looking at question three, which is about production factors. Even on the paper on the 24th question, question three will be production factors. They will be looking at land, labor, uh, capital, and these are the production factors and management. Né? Land, you just need to know the definition. Uh, that's an, it refers to the natural resources on the farm. Uh, like soil, uh, like your water, your weather, and all those vegetation, all that refers to land. And about land, all you need to know are the economic functions of land. That is, the functions of land provides food, provides raw material, provides uh, minerals, act as a collateral, and all those. Ne? And also the economic characteristics of land, like about uh, subject to law of diminishing returns, we'll talk about that one. Um, land is cannot be destroyed, that is, it is indestructible. Land is durable, that means you can use it and use it for many years. It's not gonna, it, 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 it's durable. So land can be found in a specific environment, the production potential, all those, you know, guys. But make sure that you understand, you read with understanding, so that even if the examiner uh, uh, approach approaches those uh, in a form of a, 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 a maybe a picture, pictures or, or, or diagrams, you are able to understand and, and identify what is happening. Ne? So make sure that those economic characteristics, you are able to explain them in depth. And also even, we said land, you need to know um, the, the functions, the economic characteristics, and the ways or techniques of improving land productivity. That's very important about uh, ways of improving land productivity, like irrigation, uh, like uh, consolidation of an economic farm units, uh, you understand, eh? like um, adapting to new scientific methods like your fertilization, you understand, all right? So, but make sure that you, and you, you learn those with understanding so that you can be able to explain them. Coming to labor, also a definition is very important to say that, no, I know, a labor or a worker is someone who works on farm is the physical, or mental uh, ability on the farm performed with the expectation of remuneration. Ne? So also the types of laborers, you need to know that uh, we have permanent laborers, those that are employed permanently. Ne? And also they live, they, they live on, on farms uh, permanently and they are employed throughout the year. But temporary laborers, there's two of them. There's two types of temporary laborers. We have casual laborers, those that only come for specific tasks and they are employed for less than 24 hours a month. And also we have seasonal laborers, those that are employed uh, during specific seasons of the year, like the season for harvesting. Uh, uh, or season for sheep sharing. So for those peak periods on the farm, you understand, eh? All right. And also you need to know the labor problems and uh, and also ways of improving labor productivity. Ne? Labor problems being uh, most of the laborers on farm are not trained. They are unskilled, lack of training, um, also poor labor management, uh, uh, long working hours, uh, competition with industries. You understand, you know all those things, guys. You need to know those things. Man. And also how to improve labor productivity, like uh, improve their working conditions, improve their salaries, 
um, uh, planning, good planning, so that each day, each laborer knows uh, what they, uh, they are expected to do, daily planning and all those things, efficient mechanization, if you can bring in um, um, machines there, at least you are improving uh, labor productivity and all, all those ne? and also the contract what should be there in the in the contract and and what is the contract all those things coming to capital also capital refers to produced goods equipments and machinery even the buildings uh, and land on uh, all those refers to to your capital and even money it also refers to capital and also pro capital or you also have uh, uh, problems related to capital like it's subject to high risk subject to high interest rates and all those ne? okay but okay, guys before we lose uh, Ilandoga, let's look at 3.1 the table below shows a budget you know a budget is an estimate it's an estimated uh, income and expenditure for a particular period it could be a year or a month and there's also cash flow budget that is a, a estimate esti uh, estimate cash uh, receipts and and cash um, um, expenditures ne? The, your cash outflow inflows and your cash outflows for that particular period if we're talking cash uh, cash flow budget but uh, this one is a budget of an emerging, that is a farmer who's just started, uh, who's new, for a period of a year. Okay, we can see that there's cost, so cost is also expenditure. All right, there's income. Okay, income which is made by sales. So you need to sell something before you can make what? Income. All right, on the side of cost, add everything. Here you can see the total if this plus this plus that plus that plus that is 252,500. 252,000. And on the side of income, 320,000. So you see, it's easy. We have not even looked at the questions, but you can see that. At least this farmer is doing well. If this is more than this one, the, the, the money that he makes, the income is more than what he spends, then it means this farmer is good. Okay, his business is good. Okay, let's look at the question. Identify one cost item. Cost item, it means it will be the item on the cost side. That will be that can be repaid over a period of five years. Guys, you need to know here that we, we talked about capital and you said capital, types of capital. You have fixed capital. Fixed capital buys uh, items that are for lo lo long term credit. Ne? That is over a period of 10 years or more. Ne? Like your buildings, um, your land. Ne? And we have movable capital. Movable capital, you can use medium term credit. That is for a period of um, uh, about two, two to five years. Two um, or five years or so. Two, uh, five, yeah, it's me medium term. Ne? Some we can say uh, uh, less than 10 years, five years, five to 10 years. Okay, and then uh, um, and then we have floating or working capital. Floating capital. This one is you use a short term credit. Short term that is less than two years. Ne? less than two years. Okay. For for instance, movable capital refers to your your tractors, your cows, livestock, all the livestock, your cows, your sheep, cattle, and all that, and even equipment. But floating or working capital, everything that uh, 
you, when you use it, 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 you spend it, it's gone. Like your seeds, your, um, your fertilizer, your, your um, fuel in the, on the farm. For instance, electricity, uh, we can say this one is floating. Um, okay, money for which for, for laborers also floating, seedlings is also floating capital. Then tractor is it's movable capital. We use medium term credit. Pesticides is also floating. So to answer this uh, uh, this question that says item that can be repaid over a period of five years, it's there, it's a move. It's medium term credit to buy what a tractor, so it means this item is a is a loan. It's this one. And so the answer here you must write loan or tractor. We, that is that means it's a loan to buy a tractor. So it's a cost item, and you need to pay it over a period of five years. But if there was land here, it was going to be belong here. If uh, and if the examiner asks for cost items that can be paid over a period of two years or less, then it, it would mean all these others pesticide, seedlings, money for wages, and all that. Ne? Okay, I hope you understand, guys. Give a reason for your answer. We've already mentioned that uh, a, a tractor is a movable capital which can be bought using medium term credit. You understand, ne? Okay. Uh, refer to the data above and calculate the highest income generated. Ah, it's easy. I don't know about, about the highest, but the, this is the income that this farmer generates. 320,000. 320,000. So that's all. But okay, guys, you know, if, if it's about calculation, you mustn't just, you must show it. You must say 200,000 plus 120,000. And you get an answer of 320,000. Ne? So that is the, the answer. So the two marks is for you to show all the steps. If you write only 320,000, you're going to get one mark. So show all your steps. Indicate in the budget above two problems that can be associated with the medium term asset. We said, okay, guys, the medium term asset is the tractor. It's the tractor. So a tractor is a capital item. So what are the problems of capital? You see how the examiner is asking for this, but you must know when we, we problems, you know that it's either the examiner is asking for problems of, of land or which is subject to law of uh, diminishing returns or referring to problems of labor. That is all um, uh, um, lack of training, uh, um, Poor labor management, uh, migration to cities, that is competition with industries, long working hours, all those. Or it's the problems of capital, that is capital is scarce, capital is subject to high risk, capital is subject to high interest rates, you understand? Ne? So, so we can see that here is referring to problems medium term asset asset is also a capital item ne? it's also a capital that is a tractor so what are the so basically this uh, is asking for problems of capital but in this case a uh, a tractor so we know that um or loan or loan ne? E loan is subject to high interest rate high interest high interest rates also uh, subject to high risk high risks a high risk guy is then those accidents can get to accidents or it can be it's stolen that is a theft yeah? and also 
is scarcity, money, hence that farmer has gone for a loan. So there's a shortage of capital. And okay, but this one is only referring to, to the, this tractor. Ne? So it's the high risk. And also another thing about a tractor is the problem of depreciation. 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 You know that when you buy a car or a, a tractor, it's it, it it you go and buy it for five hundred thousand rands. When you park it in your garage, it has its its value has dropped dramatically. When you go and you want to sell it again, you have not used it. You want to sell it again. You will lose about a hundred thousand. They will buy it for four hundred thousand or even less. So there's depreciation, ne? And on this, that's another problem. Okay, guys, uh, let's uh, uh, leave this one for problems. You must all know this. Use a formula to calculate the profit, guys. Uh, it's easy. Profit. You must know the the formula, again, ne? You start with the formula, profit, profit is equal to total income minus total expenditure or total minus total costs. In this case, what is the total income? It's 320,000 minus total expenditure. 252,500. And then, if it's a the answer is a minus, it means this farmer is working on a, on a deficit. But if, if it's a positive, of which in this case you can see that it's positive, that he is making about 67,500 rents profit. Ne? So you see how many marks are there? Three marks. So there's for saying in profit, it's income minus expenditure. You get a mark. For substitution, you get a mark. And then for the answer, you get a mark. Three full marks. Wow, wonderful marks. Ne? All right, guys, let's move fast. Identify the legislation that regulates each working conditions of farm work, workers. All right, this one is a basic conditions of employment act. Ne? BCEA, basic conditions of employment act. We always a cabal in its act. Training of workers. Um, I, this one is a skills development act, SDA. Skills development act. Don't write the acronyms like, like I'm doing. Ne? I'm just trying to save time. Handling of dangerous chemicals and equipment. Okay, this one is about uh, uh, Occupational Health and Safety Act. Always the A equivalent. So OHS, Occupational Health and Safety. SDA, Skills Development Act. This one, Basic Conditions of Employment. Then act ne? all right then there's two more that uh, uh, they have not asked you know the one that deals with the strikes and and uh, uh, um, rights to join unions the labor relations act and there's also the one that is closer to this one uh, that is also about the safety of workers uh, this one is about the safety of workers at, in the workplace. And this one is also about the safety of workers. The one, a compensation of occupational injuries and diseases. This is D. Act. Coida. Compensation of occupational injuries and diseases. Act. Ne? So you must know these five acts, but uh, working conditions, it's, a, it's about what? So we know about it's about um, the, right, uh, the, uh, the rights of the workers, and then Jengoma leave and leave days and all that. 
uh, labor relations have already training like well, you need to train your workers these two are about the safety of the workers all right okay a farmer employed four permanent laborers for the day-to-day -day tasks were on this one now during harvesting 10 additional laborers were employed for a period of a month you see you see I said so that uh, two types of permanent laborers. So, so during harvesting is a peak period. Yeah? He needs more laborers. Okay, what type of temporary laborers were employed for a period of this month for harvesting? Definitely is the seasonal. Ne? Good. Distinguish between the type of laborers named in treaty one that is the seasonal and permanent laborers uh, guys i've already said so permanent laborers are those that are employed full time or they are employed permanently that is throughout the year or um uh, yes they live in in in, in farms ne? but seasonal laborers are those that are employed for repetitive tasks like or they are employed for certain seasons, like harvesting, ne? or during big periods. They only come during those seasons. They only come during certain seasons to assist and then they leave. Ne? But make sure that when you, uh, because the question says distinguish, make sure that you convince the, the examiner that you know uh, the, the, the difference between the two. And we know that the one that they have not asked the casual laborers are those that are employed. Um, contract table, it's less than 24 hours per, per month. Ne? They work for less than 24 hours a month. State three challenges associated with labor. It's those things that I mentioned, okay, guys. Or sc scarcity of laborers. Even Nago Capital, we start with shortage. Scarcity or shortage, ne? scarcity of skilled laborers ne? especially those that are skilled you know when we talk of um, the skilled we know laborers they are those that are skilled that, that is those that I have received a, a permanent a training full training the same skilled are those that have received a half training or part training then those that are unskilled, those that are unskilled are those that have got no training at all. But they, they are there. The farmer needs to train those guys. Scarcity, lack of training, lack of training, uh, competition, competition with industries. You know, guys, these things, ne? you need to know them. Ne? Calculate the wage of laborer working for one public holiday if she earns 150 per day guys you know on a public holiday your salary according to the uh, uh, working conditions basic conditions of employment if you are working on a public holiday you must get to twice what you 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 are paid on a normal day so on a normal day this laborer gets 150 but now because it's a public holiday he needs to get twice of that so it means for that day because he works on a public holiday he, he will get 300 rands so even here you see it's two marks so you must show either you say 150 plus 150 or you say 150 times 2 because it's a public holiday. You must uh, get uh, twice. Okay. 